how to install OSS based Arrow OS on POCO X3 Pro. Hey peeps, what's up? Manji here, back with another video. And in this video, I'm going to show you how you can install Arrow OS, which is based on OSS or open source software vendor on the poco x3 pro do note arrow os made this switch a few days back which is why we are making a new video on how to install it now what are the prerequisites well you of course need to have an unlocked bootloader and then you also need to have a custom recovery installed which is twrp how do you unlock the bootloader how do you install twrp videos for those can be found in the description of this video next thing make sure your battery is charged at least 50 to 60 percent do not and i repeat do not do this process if your battery is at 20 or 30 percent also make sure you do have a backup of all your pictures videos and anything important which you have on your device because we are going to perform a format data and you are going to lose all your pictures videos and anything important which you have on your device now another question which i will get a lot is that what is oss vendor and why are we switching over to oss vendor what are the advantages so i do encourage you to watch the android custom rom basics playlist it has a video on this topic but for just a small overview with respect to flashing the difference is that now you can switch between custom roms just flash the firmware file you do not need to be going to arrow os from say stock me ui because now they are using their own oss or open source software vendor for the poco x3 pro next thing we can talk about is what are the files which you need so all the files which you need are linked in the description of this video so for starters you need the firmware file for the poco x3 pro now how do you find out what version of the firmware file you need well the best place to find that out is either follow the poco x3 pro telegram updates channel or you can also find that information out in the official xda thread of arrow os for the poco x3 pro next up you need the rom itself which is your arrow os feel free to use either the vanilla build or the g apps build and if you're using the vanilla build you might need G apps. So Flame G apps is the best one which works with Arrow OS at the time of recording this video. Now I will be using Flame G apps. Why? Because I prefer to have Pixel Launcher and I will also show you how to install the Pixel Launcher add on on the specific build which we are using in this video. Unfortunately, I was on Stock Me UI. So the video will show you how to switch from Stock Me UI to Arrow OS based on oss but you can of course switch between any other custom rom which you have without having to go back to stock me ui because now we are using oss or open source software vendor device now do note i do have the international variant of the poco x3 pro which right now is running me ui 12.5.1 based on android 11 however the process will work on the indian variant as well which is code named bima next thing while you are in settings go into password and security and remove your screen lock fingerprint and face unlock once that is done go back go into me account and remove your me account once that is done go back go into accounts and sync and remove your google account once you have removed all the accounts and security measures make sure you reboot your device once now why are we removing all the accounts and security measures we're doing this because we are going from one rom to another and i don't want you to be locked out of your own device next thing we need to do is we need to boot into our custom recovery so first of all turn off your device and once the device has turned off press and hold power and volume up together until you see the custom recovery logo so here we are in twrp first of all go into wipe advanced wipe select dalvik data and cache that's it select dalvik data and cache and then swipe to wipe once that is done tap on the home button go into install now you need to navigate to the folder where you have downloaded all the files in case you downloaded the files on your phone directly they will be in the download folder if you transferred them from your computer you would know the location first file which you need to select is the firmware for the poco x3 pro so we will select the firmware file add more zips and then next up select the rom itself which is your arrow os again this is the vanilla build and feel free to swipe to confirm flash at this point if you do not want google apps or if you are using the g apps build 
but we want gapps explicitly so we are going to say add more zips and then we are going to select the flame gapps zip file so once we have selected all the three files we are going to say swipe to confirm flash now once all the files have flashed successfully we need to make sure we got no errors so we can scroll up and start from the beginning here it is we are flashing the firmware and there were no errors in flashing the firmware because we got script succeeded result was one next up we are flashing the rom itself so this here is arrow os and again we should have something called script succeeded result was one for the rom also then we are flashing the gapps which is your flame gapps again there were no errors because we got installation successful at this point tap on the home button go into wipe format data type in yes and then tap on the check mark on the bottom right of the keyboard do not format data will result in wiping out of all your pictures videos and anything important which you have on your device so make sure you do have a backup of all those things at this point we have flashed all the files which we need to boot into arrow os on the poco x3 pro so we are going to say reboot system and there it is we do have the arrow os boot animation on the poco x3 pro which means we are booting into the rom on the device and the first boot up might take some time so you have to be patient and as you can see we are on the setup screen let me skip the initial setup real quick and now that we are on the home screen let us go into settings dark mode is enabled out of the box so let me go ahead and disable dark mode so that it is easier on the eyes much much better we can go into about phone and now if i tap on the android version you will notice that we are running the official build of arrow os security patch is from july 2021 this of course is your oss vendor build now do note that arrow os comes with arrow launcher out of the box so if i go into settings apps and notification and then go into default apps you will notice that the default application here is arrow launcher now me personally i prefer to have pixel launcher which again is a personal preference so how do you get pixel launcher on this build well as easy as booting into twrp so turn off your device once the device has turned off press and hold power and volume up together till you see the twrp logo once you have booted into twrp you sometimes have to wait for the touch drivers to load and then we can go into install and download so you do need two additional add-ons which you need to flash for pixel launcher to work without any issues and these add-ons of course are linked in the description of the video and they are from flame themselves so all you need to do is select the first add-on which is your google search and assistant and then add more zips and select the pixel launcher add-on and then swipe to confirm flash now once the add-on zips have flashed again we need to ensure there were no errors so here it is google search add-on is being installed and installation successful similarly this here is your pixel launcher with device personalization services again installation was successful so all you need to do is say reboot into system back into arrow os let us unlock our device and we can go into settings apps and notifications default apps here it is home app has been set as pixel launcher which means that arrow os launcher was replaced and let us check if we have the feature of select so there it is you can see select is also working and screenshot also works without any issues and there it is peeps that is how you install the latest oss build of arrow os based on android 11 with pixel launcher and g apps on the poco x3 pro and that will do it for this video hope my video helped you likes shares and subscribes are appreciated feedback and comment more than welcome see you when i see you